Medical Grand Challenge, MGC, is a student-led medical innovation program started by the NUS Yulili School of Medicine in 2017. We are proud to announce that the Medical Grand Challenge is already in its fifth year. We aim to bring together medical students and other like-minded students from various faculties to identify unmet healthcare needs and collaborate to engineer innovative solutions of tomorrow. We hope to nurture qualities of curiosity, creativity, compassion, collegiality, collaboration and commercial intelligence in our participants. We are Jia Ling and Jenny, co-presidents of the Medical Grand Challenge 2021. Today, we have invited Professor Chong Yap Singh, the Dean of the Yong Lu Lin School of Medicine, who came up with the concept of the Medical Grand Challenge, to share with us his perspectives on this year's competition and the unique circumstances surrounding it. Prof Chong, thank you for joining us for this short meeting today. In view of this upcoming event, featuring exciting medical innovations that showcase the creativity and innovative spirit of our medical students, as well as students from other faculties, universities and countries. What are your expectations for this year's MGC? I think every year the Medical Grand Challenge has always surprised me by um, the quality of the students' projects and also by the organizers' ability to continually innovate and evolve the formats of the program. So I'm expecting nothing less this year and I really look forward to hearing their presentations in a short while. As we all know, the COVID-19 pandemic has affected our daily lives and activities in many ways. In one way or another, we have adopted the spirit of innovation in varying ways to adapt to the heightened restrictions we have experienced over these past few months. Prof Chong, how has COVID-19 changed the entire outlook of the MGC competition and how will it impact future MGCs? COVID-19 uh, forced us last year for the first time to switch to an online format. Uh, I think many of us were quite worried that this wouldn't really work out and it would be difficult to engage the audience as well as the participants. But I was really pleasantly surprised because everything uh, went so smoothly and the program and the time just went past very, uh, very quickly and everybody was engaged and enjoyed themselves. So, I think one thing that COVID-19 has taught us is that uh, we can always uh, adapt to the situation um, and you know, going online is not necessarily a second-class experience. This COVID-19 pandemic has also pushed the world to create innovative solutions for this crisis as efficiently and effectively as possible. We have also seen a substantial increase in student interest towards medical innovation with more teams joining the year-long MGC journey. Prof Chong, why is medical innovation significant, especially in this current climate? So I think medical innovation is something that's very important. We created the Medical Grand Challenge so that students can learn uh, that how to innovate uh, and to think out of the box. And, and in doing so, they have to learn to work in teams with people from different backgrounds and different disciplines. So this is an important learning process for our students. Secondly, I think uh, it's been said that uh, necessity is the mother of invention. And we have seen the, ne the necessity of innovation when COVID-19 hit us last year. We had to find new ways of doing things and we managed to do so very well. And I think that's something that we have to continue to uh, nurture in everybody. And finally, I think uh, like any important endeavour, the medical profession, practice of medicine, has to continually evolve and improve. And if we stop innovating, then the practice will start to decline. This year, the participating team members are diverse. We are welcoming international teams from regional universities to join our local participants in this journey for the first time in the history of MGC. As we approach our grand finale event scheduled on 21st August, do you have any advice for our participating teams? Well, I think for the first time this year, we are having teams from the region, from Indonesia, Malaysia and Vietnam. So I, I think this will be very exciting for our local teams. Uh, to be competing with uh, people from the region with very different backgrounds. So the advice I would give them is that, um, you know, this is a challenge uh, mainly to help our students learn the art of innovation and the art of collaboration, collegiality uh, and, you know, creativity. So I, I would advise the students to just do their best, um, you know, and learn from this experience and not to worry too much about the outcome. We appreciate all your insightful responses, Prof Chong. I'm sure that MGC participants and the audience will find your sharing useful and inspirational. 
Thank you for your time and we will see you at the Medical Grand Challenge Finale which will be held on the 21st of August, 10am via Zoom. For interested audience who would like to register, please scan the QR code down below. See you there.